This is an outstanding field. These are the four finalists. It's the big final of the ladies' ski cross. Fanny Smith has waited for this moment. She's twice had to participate in the small final. She's now in the big final. Kelsey Serwa, an Olympic silver medalist from four years ago. Can she go one better this time? What of Brittany Phelan in her second Olympic Games, but her first in the sport of ski cross? And the reigning world champion, the youngest world champion in the history of this sport, Sandra Naisland. All of these athletes have started races so well throughout this session. And now it's the most important start of them all. Two meters into the Wu-Tang. It's a furious start. Everyone trying to inch in front through the opening stages. Sandra Naisland is now drifting a little bit back. At the moment, we have Kelsey Serwa and then looking at Fanny Smith. Now, Fanny Smith is really working hard to get into first position. At the moment, it's Kelsey Serwa. Serwa in first place, then Smith, Phelan, Naisland. They are very close together, but Serwa is starting to open up a little bit of a gap. There's still so much skiing to do through this course, through this final as well. It's a fantastic start, but it's still so, so open. Serwa has started every race so strongly. Here comes Naisland. She's trying to make up some ground. She just had a little problem there, Naisland. Can she now hold on for second place? It's an opportunity for Brittany Phelan to come through. It's Serwa. And now it's Brittany Phelan who's moved through into second place. Canada hold one and two. Naisland really pushing hard through that midsection. Unfortunately, getting caught on the inside ski, breaking hard. And that's her Olympic gold medal dream over. But not for Serwa, who's going over the final four features, the jump features, the race for bronze is well and truly on as well. Here we go, Kelsey Serwa, second place in Sochi pole position in Pyeongchang. Kelsey Serwa takes the gold. Brittany Phelan has won the silver medal. It's Canada again. You just can't beat them, I'm afraid. They know how to do ski cross. Ski confidently all the way through every race of this session. Kelsey Sura has got out in front. She skis so smoothly, so quickly. The line she's taken down the course has been aggressive, but she's taken control. She's shown good balance through the air, and my oh my, hasn't she been rewarded? Some final. Mason never really able to stamp her authority on this one. Great start from Kelsey Sura through here, all of the racers trying to be as aerodynamic as possible. That's where Naisland lost so much speed through that left-hand turn. Fanny Smith did so well to rescue it after landing on that inside ski as well. The battle for third was well and truly on. Naisland slightly too tight, look, rubbing elbows and shoulders for that bronze medal position, really fighting to leave this Olympics on the podium rubbing elbows the whole way. At the same time, Fanny Smith just keeping a slightly better position, staying faster through the air as Naisland gets sent backwards a little bit, and that would have been slightly costly through those final shots coming into the finish area. Coming into the finish area, clearly in front, a delighted Kelsey Serwa. Brittany Phelan in second place. Fanny Smith just racing out Sandra Naisland. We'll see a lot more from the likes of Sandra Naisland. She's only 21 years of age and she is already a world champion. It hasn't gone her way at her first or rather her second Olympic Winter Games.